angels and demons heather here and here's another speed paint video to be honest i have no idea what kind of story to tell so i'm just gonna pick one at random uh, okay my stalker yes i once had a stalker now this took place when i was in online school and for those of you who do not know for my last semester in my senior year because during the time I was in my senior year, my house in Utah was was being built. The contractor said that it would be done by March, which meant big issues for me. Because you can't really move from one state to another in your senior year, like, with a few months left in your senior year. That's not a good idea. A very bad idea, actually. So... My mom and dad decided that it would be best for me to do an online school for my last semester so that way during the move I can still I can still be taking classes. This ended up being a bad idea too because not only was the contractor wrong about when the house would be done, the house was actually done in May, so I didn't need to worry about school. But we didn't learn that until after I learned went to online school same thing with this little fact that I needed to take an extra semester so I can graduate with that school because I needed a certain amount of credits with that school itself for me to pass so I ended up being in that school longer than needed Ugh. if I knew this from the very start I wouldn't have bothered with online school and that's something that everyone in my family agrees with. But moving on, back to my stalker. So, prom was coming around and I decided, eh, why not? I should go to prom. And the prom was very disappointing. It was very small. There was not that much to do. In fact, I was wondering the whole time, should I have just went to my public school's prom? I mean, I still have my senior ID and it's not like they're going to question me. Yeah, but while I was just waiting around, I noticed this kid had on some sort of anime thing. I don't remember what it was, but I told him I liked it, and we started talking. He actually asked me to dance, and because of how shy I am, I declined. We ended up continu continuing... <laughs> we ended up kept talking, and... Yeah, when I told him how old I was, he was shocked. He thought he was younger than me. Turns out he was actually my little brother's age. And, of course, I wondered, wait, why are you in prom then? Anyway, we just brushed off, brushed off why he was there aside and kept on talking. And I stupidly gave him my number. And throughout the next... Throughout the time that, after prom, I was packing up, ready to move, and throughout that time of my moving process, he would be constantly sending me texts, and all these texts were very inappropriate. I did not like them at all. I also, he also managed, managed to get his hands on my email address, and also sent me these emails, and when I told him, Look, dude, stop, stop sending me these messages. I'm a church girl. I don't, I don't find this appropriate. He apparently was all like, oh, so you worship me? And I'm all like, what? Turns out this guy, well, had a God complex. He thought he was the big guy upstairs. And I'm going, who on earth did I got stuck with? Yeah. I kept telling him to leave me alone and to not make these references. He even once thought that he even once tricked me into thinking that he was in Utah hiding in my attic. The, actually, I said once in an earlier video that, well, in another story that in the upstairs, half of it is used for actual living space and the other half is used for an attic. My room is one of the rooms upstairs, and above 
in my room there's a door that leads to another attic space and oh my gosh i am looking at this door right now and i am seeing a freaking mosquito get out of here i'm gonna have to kill you when you're later after i'm done recording this video you have said your last words you are probably looking at your dead cousin right now just a few feet away that's gonna be you soon i got off topic because i saw a freaking mosquito i hate those things but more on my hatred on mosquitoes later on another video. Anyway, so I see a door that leads to an attic. And because he tricked me into thinking that he was up there, I panicked. And luckily, though, he wasn't in there. But, oh, boy, if he was there, that kid would be dead meat. Because my dad went up there to see if he was there. And he brought his gun and katana. So if he really was up there... You lived a good life, man. Just, yeah, you picked the wrong girl to mess with. Because my dad is insanely protective of me. Anyway, so I ended up blocking him and on email and phone number. And he ended up sending me more emails again through another email address. I blocked that. And luckily, that was it, though, until I started my next semester in school. The one that I had to take, even though it was freaking pointless, and he was in my art class. I was just, ugh. So in this art class, you're supposed to participate by posting your art in the form, so that way you can see... So that way people can see it and post comments on it. And you're also supposed to post comments on other people's work. I didn't post any of my art. And when the teacher asked me about it, I explained the situation to her. And I was afraid that he would comment on it or in any way. So she understood and cut me some slack. She said I could submit my art to her. And, that I, and she can make comments on it. And so I was all like, how about I just send you a link to my DeviantArt instead? That's where I post all of my art. So, yeah, I gave her the link to my DeviantArt, and I comment on other kids' posts. Never his posts, obviously. And whenever we had classes, I would never talk at all. I wouldn't even volunteer. And she would call, off, call on students, but she never called on me because of the situation I was in. Thank you, my art teacher. You're very supportive. I love you. You're amazing. So yeah, I never heard from this kid again. It was insanely awkward. And I was downright terrified in my art class because of this kid. Just, mm, yeah. So that's my story about my stalker. I know it's not as bad as other people's stories can be, but, eh. Whatever. This was actually the first time I blocked someone on my cell phone. Now, whenever I block someone on my phone, it's because they're a telemarketer. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this story. And I seriously mean it this time when I say, may angels be with you. Because this was a scary experience. And I really hope that you're watched over right now. Okay, bye!